Hello everyone. I'm just back from the Math Olympiad workshop in Bangalore and Mumbai. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, we met about 40 students and we had a very intense uh, eight hours of discussion with each group of students. It was really wonderful and uh, it actually inspired me to start this new series in, um, in our YouTube channel where I just discuss certain things that parents and students can find useful. I mean, this is about mathematics, but not mathematics per se. For example, students uh, and parents are often interested in this question, that how do I make my child interested in mathematics? How do I ignite the interest? And this is a very tricky and a hard question. And I have been training Mathematical Olympiad students for like last 12 years or more. And um, even I do not know for sure what works best. There are certain things that may work for certain students. And in this series, we will talk about some of those things. Today, uh, I want to talk about one such strategy that you may use with the child if you are a parent or a teacher. Human beings are intelligent. They are intellectually uh, fertile and inclined to be curious. So one thing that may work is that if you can challenge the child, if you can challenge the child with a curiosity question. I call these questions curiosity questions because they require the child to actually think about the problem, but not a lot of tools are necessary to solve that problem. Not a lot of tools are necessary to solve that problem. And uh, sometimes when the child is able to think about it and come up with a solution on his own, and this may take several days, it may take weeks, but uh, if the child continuously tries and is able to come up with a solution, the joy that he or she feels is immense and that can really ignite an interest in the subject. I'll give you one example of a problem that we used in the Math Olympiad workshop, both in Bangalore and in Mumbai. We often use this in our Math Olympiad programs that we deliver online. You can check the link in the description for that. Uh, this question was like this, that if you add one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial plus four factorial plus five factorial and so on up to n factorial then this sum is not a perfect square uh, for n greater than or equal to four so this is the problem you add one factorial plus two factorial up to n factorial and it's you have to show that it's never a perfect square it's interesting that children came up with beautiful uh, thought-provoking solutions of this problem. Even though this is about the junior kids, like kids in class 5 to 8. Uh, of course, we had to describe what factorial is. So, for example, we had to say, okay, 3 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3, 4 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, and sort of make them practice a little bit about calculating some of the factorials. Now, once they understood what a factorial is, now they start, they start to started thinking, why can't this sum be a perfect square? And uh, some of them actually experimented with the sum. They added up up to four factorial and they checked what's going wrong. And some kids, actually came up with very interesting solutions. So you may ask your child about the, this particular question, explain what is a factorial and ask him or her how, why this can't be a square number. Of course, you may have to explain what are square numbers like 9, 16, 36 and so on. So if you explain the factorial and square numbers, even 6th graders or 7th graders, can do this problem. I have seen that happening. But the main idea is that once you ask a 
thought-provoking question. Once you challenge the intellect of the child, once you put him or her in an uncomfortable uh, but curiosity-driven position, then the ball starts rolling and uh, they find joy in the subject. They find challenge in the subject. And that's a lot of fun. So for parents and teachers, this is one tip one thing that I have learned over the years, start with a thought-provoking problem. Do not teach a bunch of things at the very beginning. Start with a problem. Start with a challenge that may let the child's mind meander through the uh, world of mathematics. And if you are a student, if you are watching this video, can you tell me why 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial up to n factorial for any number n can never be a perfect square. Think about it and tell me in the comment section. This video is created at chedda.com. We have outstanding mathematical science programs, math, physics, informatics, Olympiad programs, ISI, CMI entrance programs, student research programs. If you are interested in those things, you can check the link in the description and join our 600 plus student. Well, as of 2023, mm. April, it's 600 plus students, we hope we will grow and create a wonderful ecosystem for mathematics. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.